Hello my beauties and welcome to my channel. Today another get ready with me using some new makeup. I have to warn you though it's going to be a long one. So grab a drink, grab a snack. I don't want to edit it too much because I think I think that I, uh, I liked what I had to say today. So yeah, without further ado, let's just get into the video. No, before I forget, check out my description box because everything I use will be down there. Eyeshadow palettes are the Destiny palette from Certify and the Copper Spice from 5050 Makeup. That's the only thing that's not really new. So yeah, have fun watching this video. I will see you on the other side. Uh, I have already applied my skincare and if you have watched my unboxing of the Style Tone box, spoiler alert, I uh, freaking love that oil that was in there from Dr. Organics. But anyway, uh, I have applied the rest of my face sunscreen and all that goodness uh, i have recently really been loving the face primer the hydrating one from max and more which is this one it's cheap as chips i think it is uh, one euros and 40 cents or something but it doesn't make my face greasy and it does well give it some extra hydration so i'm really really loving that uh, primer so if you see it grab it that is all I can say. I tried, uh, I, they have three and I tried, I think it was also their poor blurring one. That one doesn't work, but this one is really nice. So yeah, let me plop that aside. Um, what I got is I got a new foundation. Don't judge. I saw this one in store from Catrice. It is their uh, illuminating, their liquid radiance foundation. I reviewed the other one. Let me get it. Yeah. I reviewed this one, the Liquid Coverage Foundation, and I was not loving that one. Uh, this one is in warm beige. This one is in uh, light beige, the lightest one they had in stores. And I think there are only four of this, so I don't know. This one, though, is only four shades in Europe and a lot more in the US. So yeah, but I didn't really like this one. But actually, I wanted to try this one as well. And let's see what that one does. I do want to try this one again though, because my skin is really different now than it was in summer. It is, uh, well, a lot better than... Uh, <clears throat> I cannot talk today. I had not enough coffee, I think. Uh, but the... Yeah. Let me just, um, while I talk, plop on some foundation. Um, but my skin is really loving the Tretinoin Cream. And uh, I will make a video on it shortly on how long I have been using it, how I use it, because um, I'm using it now every day instead of every other day. And it's really working good. So yeah, this one, I don't know if you can hear it, but sounds really runny. And it comes with a dropper and it is really runny. Um, let, let's just try it on the sponge. I don't know. And let's just um, plop my mirror a little bit closer. Like so. So we had a new store. Well, it's not new, but um, it is one of our drug stores here, Trekpleister. We had a new uh, shop opening uh, where I do my groceries and uh, yeah, they have a very big selection of Catrice, the biggest in yeah, well, where I live actually. So that was good. So I saw a lot of goodies in store. I did not grab a lot. I grabbed some stuff. And I have some, I have a new highlighter from Essence. And so yeah, it looks nice. It is not really full coverage. Let me see if I can build it up. But because this is such a runny one, maybe my... Um, sponge soaks up a lot i don't know it does look pretty and it seems buildable so that's good and i forgot that i also have a color corrector oh the sponge i'm using in case you're wondering is from primark it's really good came in a two pack so i probably should have color corrected before i applied the foundation anyway 
Uh, so yeah, I have uh, so many stuff coming in that I need to change how I do my review videos. That is also why I am uploading it, well, when you see it, uh, because I have so, uh, quite a few stuff coming in. And I also, by the way, ordered the Jouer Concealer because it was on sale on Beauty Bay. And uh, yeah, Alison, uh, a friend of mine who lives in the UK, helped me with the order because Beauty Bay was doing weird things with PayPal. So I just couldn't get my order through. Where's my... Oh, yeah. Um, from Catrice, uh, they also have new uh, color correcting concealers. I got the yellow one because it says dark circle. So let's see. Looks like this. It is one of these things. So let's see how long it takes for me to get product up. Um, oh, the foundation is looking really nice. But yeah, so she was kind enough to help me with my order from Beauty Bay. It was really, re really weird because PayPal wanted me to add a credit card to my account. I don't have a credit card, that's why I have PayPal. And no, I don't want a credit card either. Credit cards are not really used here where I live in the Netherlands. We just use um, a bank and bank card. And credit cards are actually not often used, at least not by me. I don't want a credit card. This is going to take a while. But anyway, so yeah, she was kind enough to help me with my order. So I got the Jouer concealer. I also got a high-end foundation that normally, and I don't even remember which one. That's how bad it is. Um, but it sounded really interesting for mature and drier skin. Normally it retails for, I think, 30 euros or something. Or maybe even a little bit more. And I got it for 16. And that... Um, the weird thing is for me that's not even that expensive because Max and all, Max Factor or L'Oreal or Maybelline, if you want a good foundation from those lines, I also pay about 17 euros. So now I have a high-end foundation for the same price. So yeah, uh, Beauty Bay does ship worldwide. Go check them out because they have a lot of stuff on sale now. Oh, darn it, come on. Oh yeah, but I was talking about a lot of stuff coming in. Usually, <clears throat> how I do my reviews is I do a first impression on an eyeshadow palette that I get, get. And I do a look, so that's look one. Then I will do a full review on it. And after that, uh, my three looks with the palette goes up. I think I need to kind of put it more in one video. So I will still do a first impression because I really like doing those. Uh, is there some product in here or not? Because, oh my lordy lord, I'm twisting and I'm twisting and nothing's coming up. We can be here for a while. It's going to be a long one. So just, uh, you know, get some snacks. Ah, there it is. Get something to drink and uh, put your feet up or something. Because I think it's going to be a long one. But um, what I actually want to do is instead of three looks in one video, I want to combine it with the review. So, okay. So this is what it looks like. It's yellow. I hope you can see. But let's plop that underneath the eye and see what it does. Uh, but what I actually want to do is because I also... Wow, that's yellow. I also do ADHD. Ole, ole. I'm sorry. Anyway, uh, because I also do a first impression where there is a look in. I, I kind of want to do the review and then two looks in one video because otherwise I'm just I'm just I don't have enough days you know um, this week my review and looks went up on makeup addiction cosmetics I have a review and looks ready on uh, the little AliExpress palette that I uh, did a first impression on oh wow that looks actually not bad um, and I have, uh, I need to do one for uh, the multitude makeup that I showed on my Instagram that I got. And I did film the uh, first impression and that will be up next week. But yeah, you know, I'm just running out of time. So just so that you know, I will be 
kind of changing the way I do my reviews just because I also want to do palette bingos. I don't want to be an, uh, only an, an eyeshadow review channel, if that makes sense. I want to do, uh, I need a little bit more here. I want to do an updated skincare routine. Uh, I want to do shop my stash, you know. I just want to, uh, you guys uh, asked for some looks. I want to do those, but I just need the time. So yeah, just so you know. I'm going to change the way that I do my review starting next week. That will probably be the one from AliExpress, the small palette that I probably have to uh, re-edit a little bit. So if that is a bit wonky, that is why. I don't have really a new concealer, but I'm kind of liking how this is making my under eye circle bags thingies not so harsh. Uh, let me use uh, let me use this one because now I don't maybe I don't need the complete coverage. This is the True Match from L'Oreal in 2.0RC Vanilla Rose and I talked about this one and I said I really like the formula but it is just too little coverage so maybe it is better now with the color correcting underneath. Let's do it here as well. Something like that. Beauty. So yeah, again, that is how I want to do it. If you guys have any ideas for videos, just leave them down below. And also what I wanted to say is just thank you. Um, when I'm filming this, this will go up. What is it today? Thursday. This one will go up tomorrow on Friday. And this morning when I looked, I hit 302. Yesterday uh, at night I hit 300 and it is just, you know, yes, I'm still tiny or tiny channel. Oh, this is looking really nice. Anyway, this is still a tiny channel, but it is just, I have been doing this since uh, I think just before summer, spring or something like that. And it is just, kind of overwhelming that so many people like watching me because oh yeah it is maybe only 300 people but place them in a room together and then it, it actually oh, what do I have there it's actually a lot of people you know so yeah thank you just for 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 subscribing and for commenting and oh for for liking my videos I really, really appreciate it and I was actually quite speechless and that is not really normal for me, but yeah, thank you. It's, it's just, I, and I hope, you know, my goal is to at least reach, I'm going to do brows, uh, re, uh, at least reach uh, a thousand, that would be just fantastic and yeah, you know, my ultimate goal is to be big enough to make money and that that is that is my goal i love doing this i didn't uh, think that i would love it as much as i do so yeah it's just let, let's say i don't i don't need to have millions of subscribers i don't even need all specifically want a hundred thousand or something like that but i would love it if i was big enough you know i'm on so social welfare and as with a lot of youtubers i have my me mental and physical issues as well and that is i think the reason a lot of people start a youtube channel so they can be social without being social if that makes any sense so yeah i would love it if i get big enough to well you know get out of welfare and just get get paid to do for what i love because how many people really have a job that they love to do i am trying to find my brow mascara ah there it is and i know i still have uh, unblended concealer i'm letting it set a little bit to set to kind of dry down if that makes sense 
get a little bit more coverage. I am, however, liking how the foundation is looking. It is maybe a little bit too glowy for my liking. Um, th the concealer and stuff that I use is what I actually always use. From Catrice, it's always down in my description box. Let's, let's get a dry sponge. Sometimes that gives me a little bit more coverage. I think that's uh, actually not too bad. Mm, tapping it out. So yeah, first impression on how the foundation is looking after I have just applied it. It's looking nice. It's not full coverage. I can build it up. It is looking nice. I don't know what it will do the rest of the day. Uh, but yeah, I will probably do a full review on this one as well. So this was the Catrice HD Liquid Radiance Foundation. And I have mine in the color 010 Light Beige. So that was that. I want to powder. So let me get my powder. And this one is also from a box. Uh, I, I talked about this powder in my unboxing. This was from a previous box from the brand Effect. And it is their fixing powder, fix and matte. But I found out that this is rice powder and not talc. So at first I said that also in my review, I was like, or in my unboxing, I was like, yeah, it, it's just a powder. I don't know what to say about it. But I'm actually really liking the powder. It doesn't dry out my skin. So that's really, really good. Especially now that the weather is turning. I'm just cleaning a brush for underneath my eyes. Let me tap out some creasing. And powder. Now I do have... It does have a scent though. That it does. And it is... Uh, I don't know if you can see, but lightening here a little bit or illuminating, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I don't, well, I do have a new eyeshadow palette, but I filmed uh, the first impression already with it. And did I film the first look? No, I filmed the first impression. Oh, yeah. Garbage truck. So, just so you know. Um, so, I will talk a little bit louder. Uh, so I'm not going to use that today. In, instead, I am going to... I have grabbed two palettes out of my collection. Because I have a look in mind. Yesterday... Oh, this powder is so nice. But yesterday I saw a video by LS. I will link the video uh, down below. And she did a um, yellow-green eye look. And she also did yellow blush. Now I'm not going to use yellow blush. But uh, I really liked how she did that eye look. It was actually really simple. She just uh, put a yellow matte on her eyes. As a transition shade. And then uh, went in with a green shimmer shade. A dark green shimmer shade. On, on her mobile lid. And that was her look. And it was so... It was gorgeous. It was so simple and so gorgeous that I was like, I want to do a look like that. I also want to tell you guys kind of what was going on. So I am going to do something like that. And this powder is really nice. I am uh, tapping out the creasing again. That's what you get when you're a little bit older. So I also shaved my hair again, as you can see. Uh, my son was like, mommy, well, mommy, he's 16, he's almost 17. So he said, mom, you need to shave your head again, because then you're a badass mom and it looks better than what you have now. So I shaved my head again. <laughs> but he is right. I am, you know, when uh, my hair grows to a certain length, about um, half a centimeter or some, uh, yeah, something like that. It kind of gets itchy and it just feels, I don't know, it doesn't feel nice. So yeah. Uh, but the powder from Effect, it's really nice. And I uh, I can recommend it. I will link it. I will link everything I use today, by the way. Uh, that was my face powder. I'm going to let that set a little bit extra because it is still a bit tacky. I'm going to let it sit and see if I need to powder a little bit more later or that it is enough. Uh, did I order the Milani eyeshadow primer? I don't remember. I had it in my cart at Beauty Bay, 
but I am actually not sure if I ordered it or not. I don't think I did. Doesn't really matter because I can get Milani eyeshadow primer, no problem. This is the Catrice one, by the way. And the store that I went to also has the pearlescent one. So maybe I will try that one as well. I'm also tapping it onto my bottom lid high up. It was a trick that I learned from Annette from Annette's Makeup Corner. I will link her channel down below as well. And she just hit 1k, so that is just so freaking awesome. If you are not watching her, go check her out. She is amazing. She is a colorful lover like me. She is a bit younger, but that doesn't really matter. But she just, she's so freaking creative. It's just insane. So yeah, um, I have pulled... What did I want to do again? Oh yeah, I have pulled... The Destiny palette from Certify for the color Moss, which is just a gorgeous, gorgeous green. And it's one of my favorite colors. And that was because I have this lippy from Catrice. Uh, I have this. Uh, this is a new color. And it is one of their Velvet Matte Lip Creams in the color 100 Kind of Pumpkin. And I will swatch it. It's a very pretty, I don't know what color it is, orangey brown. It's a really pretty color and I want to use that one today so I was like well let me see what fits and I think that instead of a yellow green I'm going to do a green and then uh, probably combine um, these two shimmer shades together which are from the uh, copper spice palette from 5050 makeup that is what I kind of want to do today so let me get my clothy thingy and my brushes so yeah, and uh, uh, what 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 else? Oh yeah, I let me let me just go over real quick what I got. Uh, so I got the foundation. I got uh, the Prime and Fine Illuminating, the Dewy Glow Fixing Spray. I usually use this one, the purple one, the Malta Talent. But they also had this one. They also had the mattifying one. So maybe I will try that one out as well. This is a fixing spray without alcohol. Uh, so yeah. I really like that. Uh, I use this one as a primer as well. And I really like that. I haven't used this one as a primer as you saw. Uh, I also got from Essence from their holiday collection. The Ho 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 Iridescent Powder Highlighter. It was new in stores. I haven't even seen this on Instagram yet. But this is what it looks like. And I don't know if it will show up. But it has uh, an embossing on it. And then they also had a brush. And there was a this is a highlighter brush. I mean, look, it is glowing, but it, it also has candy canes in it. <laughs> it is so cute. It's really, really soft. It is a bit denser. So yeah, I'm going to try that one today as well. I also got the lash glue from Catrice. And I am kind of curious because my preferred lash glue has latex in it. Uh, let me close that one again and just uh, start applying eyeshadow. Otherwise, this video will be three weeks long. Um, do I need to set it? Yes, I think I do because I'm going to go in with a cool tone green. So I just am going to lightly set the top part of my lid. I'm going to go into the 50-50 makeup palette and use this shade on a really fluffy brush. And I'm just going to set actually where I want to blend. Uh, what was I talking about? I don't remember. Darn it. Uh, but yeah, so the Malta to makeup. Oh my lordy lord. That is just a nice little palette. Oh yeah, and I also ordered a Huda Beauty, another Huda Beauty dupe. But this time I knew it was a Huda Beauty dupe. It is a dupe. Uh, from her newer line, uh, also the small palettes, the, the gemstone palettes. I ordered the red one. I had them all in my cart, but to be honest, the only one that, that really... Uh, I had three that really spoke to me. That was the orangey one, the pinky one and the reddish one. But to be fair, uh, the pink and orange shades I have... Oh my lord, I'm itchy. Hair. 
So I pulled them out of my cart because my collection is actually getting uh, quite a lot bigger. I have a palette, the Freya eyeshadow palette from Odensei Cosmetic coming in as well. I'm still waiting on that one. Um, I have the Feral palette coming in. Uh, so I have another uh, smaller palette coming in. I have two more eyeshadow palettes and a face palette that you haven't seen yet. Well, I, I have talked about it. But those are from the Chocolate Heart box. Uh, let me go the other way around. So let me get you. Uh, those are from the Chocolate Heart box from Revolution. Finally, I found a brush. Uh, let's get this brush from BH Cosmetics. It's from one of their eye sets and it's the number three. I'm going to go into the color Moss from the Destiny palette. And I'm just going to tap that on my eye. Um, so yeah, I have quite a few palettes coming in. Oh yeah, I also have the Zulu palette, finally. It's coming in from Beauty Bay. It was on sale. So I needed to have that and it, is been, it has been sold out on uh, the Juvia's Place site for a while. But they have it on Beauty Bay. So if you want the Zulu palette uh, for, is it 30% off? Yeah, I think so. Go to Beauty Bay. Oh, I so love this shadow. I think this shadow is so, so freaking pretty. Oh, this is such a pretty color. Such a pretty color. Maybe the, I think this is uh, together with the color Hex from this palette. My favorite two shades. I am eyeing her Affinity palette, the newest one that she's coming out with. Uh, it is on pre-order now, but because I have spent quite a lot. And uh, I, I'm getting actually kind of overwhelmed with everything I ordered, to be honest with you. I don't want to get it now. Uh, I am waiting on the pre-order from Blush Tribe for the Paulina palette. I'm definitely getting that one. So let's go and blend this out. I'm taking my favorite brush. I also ordered a few brushes from Zoeva. Uh, which are kind of like this, I think. At least on the picture they look like that. So then I can uh, try those. And then you can... <laughs> Order if you want to, kind of the same brushes that I uh, use. If you want me to do kind of a favorite brush video, let me know. I can. I still also, I know this that is an, that it is an older tag video. Still want to do my favorite shades and maybe even least favorite shades. I want to play more with the Emily Edit. Uh, the Wands palette, I haven't played with that one enough. So yeah, cards, I have so many things I want to do. And that is good if you have a YouTube channel that you have a lot of ideas. It is also <sighs> kind of frustrating sometimes. I'm also bringing this shadow down. Because I am actually quite a creative person and not maybe not specifically uh, with my eyeshadow looks. But creative in general. I have so many ideas of things I want to do. Um, maybe what I will, I actually what I think I will do is instead of really editing uh, the video down that's coming next week for the AliExpress eyeshadow palette that I have, that little spring palette, uh, I think I will upload them back to back, so on the same day, and then from then on just do. Uh, two looks and then the review and i just need to you know the weird thing is i actually i kind of find it difficult to do reviews if that makes sense because sometimes i just want to be too nice um and but also sometimes i'm having a trouble uh gathering my thoughts if that makes any sense because i have adhd my my brain goes in in jumps and if you ha are like that you understand what i mean in dutch we say van de hak op de tak uh, which 
if I translate that literally, it's from the heel on the branch, which is a really weird expression, but yeah, it makes a lot of sense in Dutch. <laughs> and um, it just means that you are all over the place. And I am, I'm well aware, God, I love this shade so much. See, that's what I need. <coughs> so yeah, this is um, that part. And now I actually want to go in with the shimmers. Let's first clean up the brow bone. So I'm taking another fluffy brush and I'm taking this color, which is the lightest peachy color from the Copper Spice palette of 5050 Makeup. And I do like to use shades like this, I found out, uh, to kind of clean up or I, I call it an eraser shade because it is so close to my skin tone. You can really nicely use it to blend out a color and yeah, I like this shade. Okay, uh, shimmers. Let me get a brush. Let me go in with the, the darkest color, this one. Maybe I'm, wait. See, that's what I mean. Let me do the lippy. So I can kind of see what kind of color I want to create. Pretty, pretty color. And they, this formula is really comfortable. It, does, uh, it doesn't completely dry down. So you, you do have a little transfer. But I really think it's really, really nice. Okay, so let's go into this shade again. With my small brush. I'm going to spray because otherwise I will create a fallout. And let's just use uh, this one the, from Catrice, the purple one. Doesn't really matter. And let's plop that on my eye. I could, you know what? Let me get a sponge tip because then I'm faster. It's just taking too long. I could also try a bigger brush. I could. Oh, I can do that actually. And this one. Uh, let me just let me just do the sponge tip. It doesn't really matter. Oh, I can try that one. I have um, a silicone thingy. I got it one day from Essence. Let me see that. I thought maybe it is handy for pressed pigments, but let me see what it does with the shim. Oh wow! I don't know if I like it. Okay, uh, let me get my brush and go into that shimmer shade just a tad to just... No, let me go into the color Hex from the Certified palette. Now, do I have a dark brown? Oh yeah, of course I have a dark brown, but I need a specific color. Uh, let me go into Brew, also from the Certified Palette. Did I not say I would do just two colors? I'm kind of liking this. Let me bring that down as well. Where's my detail brush here? Mm, I'm going to go with that color Brew on a small brush. Um, that's better, yes. Oh damn, darn it, I do feel I'm all over the place. Um, no, let's use this one again. For uh, glitters, I don't really like it. Not for shimmers, it's not too bad. So if you hate sponge tips and you don't want to do it with your finger, and you can always try a silicone applicator. Taking a little bit of that shimmer, because I need to do the same here. And a little bit of hex. And a little bit of brew. Didn't I? Oh, I don't know what I did. Hex again. So I cannot wait for the ferro palette. I have not seen any reviews. I did not want to. As much as it pained me, because I'm really curious. <sighs> uh, color brew. Yeah. 
itchy ear. And let's uh, uh, color brew underneath again also. Mm. Let's get that color moss and bring it a little bit lower. I do think it's pretty. It's not really what I was going for, I think, but I do think it's pretty. Okay, let me get something for the inner corner. Let me use... I think I will use this one. Just to break it up a bit. And in a corner. Is that what I want? No, it's not. Um. That's a bit better. I will show you which shade I used in a minute. Okay, so the shade is this one. And let's bring that a little bit around as well. I will plop in a, in a corner highlight in a minute. But now the highlight that I have is um, pinky. I don't want that. I don't want that. So yes, let's get this one because that just fantastic so I'm getting this one which is the face palette from uh, the chocolate heart thingy I'm going to go into the color fondant okay Okay, okay. Let me let me pop aside the those. Yes. Let me feel my face. I think I do need to powder some bits a little bit more. So let me do that. I don't know what it is, but a lot of the time I feel that when my foundation and concealer have settled in, so to say, that my dark circles are really bad. I don't know what that is. I have no idea. Probably doesn't really show on camera, but I can see it in the mirror. Anyway, I don't really have a new blush. Well, I do, but I'm not going to use it. Um, let me get my bronzer. And let me get a peachy blush, I think. So I have the triple baked bronzer uh, from I Heart Makeup in the color Summer of Love. It's a really nice bronzer. Uh, it should have set already. Oh my lordy lord. Maybe this is the wrong brush. Let me get this one. So I'm actually just dabbing it on. Uh, like I do with my eyeshadow. And then usually I take my fan brush. Go in do a little bit of the bronzer and then just kind of buff it out. So it's actually not really different from how I do my eyeshadow. Let me get my blush. <coughs> yep. And my blush brush. And uh, this is the blush box from Catrice in Golden Coral. I like this blush. And again I place it first and then with the tip I'm blending it out. And I do have to say that this is a blush. It's kind of subtle sometimes. Probably because it is a peachy tone and just blends into my skin. But it is a very pretty blush. I'm not sure how I'm feeling about the foundation though. It's 
something like that. Let me just. Okay. Let me get the spray. I like the sprays on these. Oh, I forgot my highlighter. <laughs> anyway, let's just let this dry just a little bit. Uh, let me get my highlighter brush and the Essence highlighter. Um, this is it. I do. I also have this in eyeshadow, to be honest. I don't know if you can see it. It has a purple shift. I don't have that in a highlighter, but it has a purple shift. So <laughs> it's probably not really going to go with this look today, is it? But I'm going to use it anyway. I don't know. I've swirled my brush in. Let me see how much it. Uh, quite a lot actually. So okay. Let me bring it a little bit on top of my blush. The brush is nice. It feels nice. It feels soft. And I think I can also use this as a blush brush. Wow. I hope you can see that on camera. It's always more difficult to do the right side of my face. This help? Maybe a bit. I need to learn to how to do that. I write with my left hand, but I can do a lot of things with my right hand as well. It's still a challenge I want to do though. To do the opposite. I am however going to go over it with my sponge. Because it is a bit blinding. Well, not really blinding, but kind of a funny color. I do not want this uh, on the center of my face. So for that I'm going to go back into that face palette and get a different brush, a smaller one. This is one from Nabla, it's their highlighter brush. And this is, as you can see, really blinding highlighter like so let's buff it out okay and let me uh, let me oh yeah i need to, that that light blue yes but let me check how my face is looking i just don't know if i like it so yeah, we will see. I will keep testing the foundation and then we will see. Um, the highlighter from Essence is, is very pretty, but as you can see, because it has a purple shift, I don't really think it goes with this look today, but it is what it is. The lippy is very nice. I like the color, so that is good as well. Uh, the brush is nice. It's a nice brush. I, li I like the look of it. Uh, it's nice and soft, so yeah, I'm happy with that. Uh, this one I need to try out more. Let's go to falsies in a minute. Let's get the falsies that I want to use, which are the Sosu London style from Primark. I freaking love those. I have no idea how long I need to let this glue stay tacky. So I'm just going to plop a little bit on a glass lid and see what it does. What is nice is that it's with its own applicator. So let me see what that glue does. Let me do eyeliner first. Let me go just use my Renaissance flick. So that is the eyeliner. I do have a very nice pencil to go with this, I think. Yeah, I have from uh, L'Oreal. I don't use it a lot, but it's from their infallible line. And it's an eye pencil in the color Super Cooper which is just a very pretty bronze. Let's use that here. It's almost the same shade as the eyeshadow, so that's good. So I have that one as well. Let's see what the glue is doing. Okay, so it is getting tacky uh, quite fast, I think, but 
but then it is just a little yeah okay i think i think i hope i know <sighs> okay lash princess purple so this is the look with mascara i like it okay let's get my lash applicator let's get my mirror in a little closer let's grab a lash flop on some blue and see oh yeah i was saying that wasn't i that i prefer oh, this is not a nice applicator i prefer lash glue that contains latex because the lash glues that i tried that don't contain latex kind of eat up my own lashes and eat up some of the falsies so yeah that's that's kind of weird so that is actually why I prefer the duo glue. But uh, I don't like this applicator. I so don't like this applicator. Because I feel that it doesn't coat it enough. I don't know. I'm faster just plopping, uh, of course, plopping my glue on a, a, a non-sticky surface and then just using a brush. That is just my preferred method at the moment. I do think that this is easy to travel with though, because sometimes, especially when my eyes are really teary, the glue just kind of, well, goes away. So let me see if I can plop it on my eye real quick. I do have a video, but, oh darn it. I do have a video on how I apply my falsies. If you are interested, if I don't forget, I will link it. It does seem to dry down a lot quicker than the duo. And let's just hope that it stays all day. When I saw that it was an applicator, I was like, oh, that's handy. Well, maybe not so much. You see that? That's what I mean. Because this lash glue is pretty thin, it goes everywhere except where I want it to go. You know, and if you have a brush, it, it kind of stays between the hairs, if that makes any sense. I just love falsies. You know, I love the way... They make my eyes look and uh, that you can really play with the shape of your eyes. So yeah, uh, lash glue, the application, yeah. Hmm. I don't really like this, this style of applicator. It's just hard plastic. Then I actually prefer a brush because I feel like I can get a little bit more product then. But overall it sticks nicely. I don't know how long it will last. If I don't forget, I will put an update in when I'm editing. Lippy is nice. Foundation. Yeah. I want to try it more. I want to try it with a brush as well. Because sometimes thin foundations like this work just better with a brush. The highlighter is very nice. Again, it doesn't really match the color combination that I have today. But I will leave it anyway. Maybe I will throw on a peachy one uh, later. But yeah, overall the stuff that I have uh, is, is really nice. The foundation I will keep using. This one I will keep using. I will keep using everything and then um, give you an update in my review roundup. Maybe I will do a full review with this one. I will try it, see if it warrants a full review. But yeah. That was my, um, oh yeah, the um, priming spray. Yeah, that maybe is also why I feel I'm looking a bit shiny or dewy. But yeah, this was my get ready with me, kind of chatty, new products, a little update on uh, how I'm going to do my reviews from now on. And yeah, if you like this, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments or, you know, tips and tricks or... Uh, requests all that kind of thing leave it down in the comment section below check out my description box uh, for all the makeup that i used today if i can find links then i will link it and also for all the shout outs that i have thank you again my dear friend allison for well helping me with my big order from beauty bay and also her instagram handle is down below in my description box as well go check her out she does colorful makeup and uh, she's really talented and just a sweetheart 
So yeah, this was it for me. I'm going to go about my day, edit some videos and uh, do my household cleanup thingy and all that goodness. For now, I'm signing off. I wish you all a great, great day. And I hope to see you in my next one, which could very well be tomorrow. And otherwise it will be, well, Monday or maybe Sunday. I'm not sure yet. You will just have to click the subscribe button and the bell. And then you will be notified when I upload my next video. Have a great day, guys. Love you lots. Thank you. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Bye. Thank you.